Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, four squares of uh, different uh, sizes, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, green shaded square is uh, lowercase a square units. The area of this uh, blue square is uh, lowercase uh, b square units. And finally, the area of this uh, yellow square has been given to us uh, as uh, lowercase c square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, red uh, shaded uh, square. And let's assume the area of this uh, red shaded square is uh, x square units and now we are going to solve for uh, x in terms of a b and c and now since we are dealing with these uh, squares so therefore we are going to recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length uh, of the square let's assume the area of the square is uh, uppercase a then it's going to be equal to the side length uh, s uh, whole uh, square. Now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both sides. And now we can see this square and square root uh, undo each other. So therefore uh, the side length uh, s uh, turns out to be the square uh, root uh, of uh, uppercase uh, a. So therefore uh, we can write uh, since s represents the side length so therefore uh, the side uh, length uh, of uh, any square is going to be equal to the square root of uh, the area uppercase uh, a and now let's focus on this uh, green shaded square and the area of this uh, green shaded square is uh, lowercase a so therefore uh, the side length uh, of this uh, green square is going to be the square root of uh, lowercase uh, a and now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, blue square whose uh, area has been given to us uh, as uh, lowercase b so therefore this uh, blue square side length uh, is going to be lowercase uh, b with the square root and now we are going to focus on this uh, yellow square the side length of this uh, yellow square whose area has been given to us uh, lowercase c the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square is going to be the square root of uh, lowercase uh, c and finally let's focus uh, on this uh, red shaded uh, square whose area has been given to us uh, as uh, lowercase x then the side length uh, of this uh, red square is going to be the square root of uh, x so thus we figured out uh, the green square side length uh, as uh, lowercase a. So therefore uh, this green square side length uh, is going to be lowercase a and lowercase a across the board. Since all the side lengths uh, of the square are same. And now let's focus on this uh, blue square whose uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase b. So therefore for this uh, blue square the side length is going to be lowercase b and finally lowercase b as well across the board and likewise uh, the yellow square side length uh, is uh, square root of c so therefore the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square is going to be square root of lowercase c and finally square root of uh, lowercase c as well and finally the red square side length uh, is uh, square root of x so therefore uh, the side length uh, of this uh, red shaded square is going to be lowercase x uh, square root uh, and finally square root of uh, x uh, as well across the board and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side length uh, is uh, square root of uh, lowercase a and uh, this side length uh, is the sum of these uh, two individual uh, side lengths uh, as well. This side length is uh, lowercase uh, b with the square root. And this one is uh, square root of x. 
So therefore, we can write uh, this side length uh, square root of uh, a equal to the square root of b plus uh, square root of uh, x. And I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one. And now let's make another observation. We can see this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, square root of uh, lowercase b. And this side length uh, is the sum of these uh, two individual lengths, uh, this side length uh, and this side length. Uh, this side length is uh, square root of uh, lowercase c and this is uh, square root of x. So therefore we can write uh, this side length uh, lowercase b with the square root is going to be equal to the square root of lowercase uh, c plus uh, square root of uh, x. And now I am going to move uh, this uh, square root of x uh, on the other side. So therefore uh, that is going to give us uh, square root of uh, lowercase uh, c is going to be equal to square root of uh, lowercase b minus uh, the square root of uh, x. And now I am going to label this one as our equation number 2. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. And here I have copied down our equation 1. And now we are going to take the square on both uh, sides to undo these uh, square roots. And now let's recall this famous identity. A plus B whole square could be written as A square plus B square plus 2 times AB. And we are going to apply it on the right hand side of this equation. So once we apply this uh, square, this square and square root undo each other. So we got uh, lowercase a equals to when we take care of this square that is going to give us uh, lowercase b plus uh, lowercase x plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, b times uh, x. And I'm going to call this as our equation number uh, 3. And now let's focus on this uh, our equation number 2. And here I have copied down our equation 2 over here. And now I'm going to square uh, both sides uh, to undo these uh, square roots. And now let's recall this another identity. A minus B whole square could be written as A square plus B square minus 2AB. We are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side of this equation. So once we apply these uh, squares we are going to get uh, lowercase c equal to lowercase b plus uh, lowercase uh, x minus uh, 2 times the square root of uh, b times uh, x. And I am going to label this one as our equation number uh, 4. And here we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation 3 and 4 over here. And now we are going to add uh, these two equations. Now let's go ahead and add them. On the left hand side we are going to get uh, lowercase a plus uh, lowercase uh, c equals to, on the right hand side this cancels out uh, with this one. So on the right hand side uh, b plus b is going to give us uh, 2 times b plus likewise uh, 2 times uh, x. So thus we are ended up with this equation a plus c equals to 2b plus uh, 2x. And now I am going to move this uh, 2b on the other side. So therefore we can write uh, 2 times x uh, is going to be equal to a minus uh, 2b plus uh, c. And now I am going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. So this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be in terms of a, b and c as uh, a minus uh, 2b plus c all over 2. And we know our x uh, represents the area of this uh, red shaded uh, square. So thus the red shaded uh, square area turns out to be a minus 2b plus c all over 2. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.